Everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Rusty Rasmus is set to announce his team to face Argentina this weekend in Argentina uh, this evening. And as a result, I've decided to put together a bit of a, it's a bit of a prediction, a bit of kind of what I'd like to see, um, but a potential possible 23 that we might see based on the 28-man squad that went over to Argentina. Uh, an interesting sort of uh, selection to make for Rusty Rasmus Given the sort of strength of the squad, I think it's definitely we've gone over there to win. You know, there's no doubt about that. We've gone over there to to win the rugby championship, uh, to to get the game done, come back to Mbembe. We might see a bit of rotation, for example. I think it would be a nice opportunity to give some players uh, a chance. You know, in home conditions where it's a little bit easier, rugby championship already sort of wrapped up, and, and be able to rotate. And I think that's what we might actually see. So I do think we're going to go pretty pretty uh, strong this evening. Um, when we get when when Rusty Rasmus does announce it, but before we look at it, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? This is what I put together. Um, a bit of a combination, I think, of uh, of of a, of a strongest team as well as uh, looking at maybe potentially trying some new combinations. So in the front row, uh, Jan Kobelar and Malcolm Marks are the only two hookers that went over. Therefore, you can't expect to see both of them in the 23. I do think Jan Kobelar will probably start. And uh, as a result, and, and this is also an interesting part, I've also then uh, had Ron Nokia starting because I think as a combination, that's very important. Jan Kobelar had his struggles in for a line of time in that first test against Australia. And I think having, you know, his, his Bulls captain, the man he's supposed to week in, week out, in that lineup will be a very, very good combination. Um, I've kept Oxen Chair in the front row, and I've put in Thomas Latoy, who has traveled over as one of the two tight heads. Um, I do expect him to start, and I think we'll see Vincent Koch primarily used uh, off the bench regularly, and I think will be the same uh, this evening. In the second row, Evan Etzbeth has gone over, and I think he'll start. He always does. Um, and I think that he will partner Ruan Okia in, in what we've seen is quite a, a common partnership. I'd almost quite like to see Nico Jansen from Furin start. Wouldn't mind seeing him start, but again, I do think that Krobola Ruan Okia combination is, is pretty important. Sia Kalisi, I expect to start. He never comes off the bench for the box, and uh, I think we'll see Ben Jason Dixon. Rusty Rasper spoke about the fact that even though it wasn't his strongest game against Australia a couple of weeks ago, or about a month ago now, that he will play many tests for the box, and that he do, do see him as the next option for uh, Peter Steph the toy. So I, I think he'll get an opportunity there. And yes, maybe so we'll start at eight. You know, he hasn't played a lot of rugby recently. He's been very good since coming back, and uh, he'll continue to play in the number eight jersey. Uh, I'm really hoping we see Jaden Hendricks start. I think we saw his quality against New Zealand when he came off the bench. I've always rated him as an international quality scrum half. He just reads the game so well. I think he's a much better start than he is a finisher. And I'd really like to see him start next to Mike Leibach, who's not played for the box, especially at all this year. And, you know, apart from for that Portugal test, really, and hasn't played the rugby championship yet. That's why I'm going to been back. And I'd really like to see him get an opportunity because I think he still has so much to add to this side. So I really hope that he gets an opportunity there. Back three, I've got with Marcus Orlando, Pimpy, Kirtley, Aronsa, Apple, Lefassi. Wouldn't surprise me if we saw Kane and Moody in that back three. Um, I've got him on the bench. You know, and we've got different ways that we could all look at this. So in the sense, I've gone with the Lacanya and Jesse Creel combination. They trialed it against Australia. Didn't get much opportunity to sort of see how it works. So I do think that they'll try it again and see how see how it might uh, um, work out for them. And the other option, for example, you could have Jesse Creel on the bench or not even the 23. You could have Kenny Moody at 13, which could be an option. Uh, similarly, you could have Kenny Moody at 14, Kirtley at 11, leave up Maxwell at Pimpy, although I do expect to see him. Um, I've gone with the 5-3 split then off the bench. So I've gone with Malcolm Mark, Kiaras, Dinekam, Vincent Koch. I do wonder if we might see young Hendrik Vessels, and if we do, whether he might start. I think if he's not involved today, I think he will start against Argentina and in Mombella. Uh, especially if we win this weekend, because then you can't afford to rotate. Uh, then I've got with Nicky Jansen from Fiorin, who's yet to have any sort of game time. Salman Murat has traveled, and is probably the more likely to be on the bench, but I'd like to see Nicky Jansen from Rensburg given a chance to to look at that um, that that other options at five. Um, and um, so, yeah, I think look, Nicky Jansen from Rensburg is an interesting selection with regards to the long term. He's not old. Um, plays at a good level and uh, is a genuine art and art number five, which, you know, all of a sudden with no Frank and Mostert, no Lua Diaga, uh, you know, we've struggled with maybe. And Ruin Okia stepped up quite nicely, but I do think we need to look at other options. Um, Arches Neymar, uh, obviously also an option there, but he's also had injury issues. So he definitely has a lot of, of depth, does uh, Nico Jansa uh, van Rensburg. We then got to one with Quack Smith, could be Marco Verstappen. 
Uh, could we see Alric Lowe as well? If we do go with a 6 2 split, I expect to see probably Alric Lowe, uh, Kwaka Smith, maybe Salman Murat in terms of what I think they will do. But uh, I've gone with a 5 3 split. I imagine we'll see Kubis Ryan. I'd really like to see Mornay Vandenberg get an opportunity, even if it's off the bench, and uh, hopefully he'll also play next weekend. I think that we need to get him game time. Because I think he has got a future. He had a bit of a tough game in really difficult conditions against Australia. I don't think you should be binning a player after that. I do think that him, Grant Williams, Jaden Henshaw seem to be sort of the three future scrum offs. And then it's sort of out. Uh, the, the sort of the goal has been thrown down to like sort of Sine and Nahamba to try and get into the squad. A uh, Nico Stain, you know, a uh, uh, Paul DeBet in the future. Hirsch Young is trying to get back in the squad. Those kind of players. And then I've got Andre Paul and Kane Moody. Um, I'll be surprised if we do see a 5 3 split, but we did see it uh, in, you know, in the last couple of weeks, so maybe we'll see it again this weekend. Let me know what changes you'd make down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.